What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den. And a question I get asked all the time is, Joe, are you still doing jujitsu? Yes, I'm doing jujitsu. And as you can see in this picture here, I just got promoted to my blue belt. So go me. It's been two and a half years of rolling, okay? And a lot of you guys also ask, how do I work uh, jujitsu with my strength training? So strength training is always my main priority, okay? So it's gonna be the first thing that I try to get done. And then with jujitsu, I probably go two to three times per week on average. And what I do with those sessions is just moderate the intensity either by who I'm rolling with or how much open mat I'm doing, or maybe just taking more classes that work on drilling, okay? Because if you're trying to do both full go, something's gonna break at some point. Uh, so for me, mainly figuring out like what's my main focus and then how can I have the next focus complement that is the way I go about it. But in this video, uh, since you guys have been asking about more jujitsu content, we're gonna be talking about the three top squat variations that I think jujitsu athletes should be doing. But if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. What are, you, what are you waiting for? Let's go. And give the video a thumbs up. So let's dive into the first variation. Actually, before I get to the first variation, you guys should probably just be squatting in general, okay? So let's just get that point out of the way first. Uh, primarily, I think high bar squatting is gonna benefit you a little bit more as a jiu-jitsu or uh, combat sport athlete. So if you aren't high bar squatting, that is something I'd recommend. But in terms of variations, the first one that I would recommend jiu-jitsu athletes be doing is an SSB squat, okay? Reason being that I like the SSB is it's super easy to just start doing. Uh, there's not much of a learning curve with it really. And it's also gonna be a little bit more comfortable on the shoulders, okay? So in jujitsu, right, where we get little uh, tweaks and banged up here and our shoulders maybe don't have proper mobility uh, or they're just really fatigued. So typically when we do any sort of straight bar squat, uh, the shoulders are gonna be involved with that a little bit more. But with the SSB, you just have handles that you can hold on to. It's a comfortable squat. And it's also uh, gonna be the mixture of a front and a back squat. So if you're looking for just something to change it up uh, that I think will help you with your athletic performance, the SSB squat uh, as a squat variation is fantastic for jujitsu or strength sport athletes. Right, so my second favorite variation that I have most of my jujitsu athletes doing is a box squat. Now I like the box squat one because say you have an issue with getting a deeper range of motion, the box is gonna be a great tactile cue to help you with figure out where your range of motion is. You can also set the box at different heights. So if you wanna actually be above parallel, you can set the box to be above parallel. If you want it to be a little bit deeper, that is totally up to you. Uh, just a nice feature of the box. So since we get that static pause for a performance aspect, that's why I like doing the box squat. It's because we're going down, we have to pause, and then we really have to explode up out of the bottom. So if you're working on takedowns, or you're just trying to become a little bit faster uh, for the sport specifically, I really am a big fan of doing box squats, uh, so give them a shot. On top of that, if you guys have any sort of knee pain when it comes to squatting, the box is an excellent variation that you can play with the different heights uh, and just see if that helps with any knee pain going on. All right, so the third and final squat variation is gonna be the front squat. And I like the front squat for a number of reasons. Uh, mainly, it's just gonna be a more athletic squat, okay? And in jujitsu, we're always trying to pay attention to detail, whether that be with our technique, uh, or positioning. So the same thing has to be done uh, when doing a front squat. So I just kind of like that for kinesthetic awareness. Uh, the other thing is if you're looking to grow, obviously your quads, uh, and it does help uh, with your core, okay? All these squats do help with your core, but the front squat uh, is just kind of known for that. So if you're gonna try to increase your strength in those regions, the front squat is gonna be great. The other thing is it kind of mimics uh, almost like when you're going for a takedown or you're shooting down uh, for say like a single leg or a double leg and you have to get from that bottom position to pick somebody up, okay, you're gonna develop good strength uh, which will transfer over to those moves uh, from doing the front squat. So that's kind of overall why I really like the front squat. Uh, a lot of people uh, have issues with the mobility of the front squat. So one, try to give yourself time to get into that good front rack position and usually over time you'll get better at it. If you really are struggling, you can actually use straps uh, and do a strapped front squat. Uh, or you can also just cross your arms over the bar, which you've probably seen in videos or maybe you already are doing. That's totally fine as well. It's gonna deliver the same stimulus. Uh, it just depends on what works best for you. All right guys, so there you have it. So when it comes to jujitsu or any sort of combat sport, those are my three favorite squat variations that you should be including in your programming, okay? It's very important to have strong legs. Uh, and you guys can see like throughout the sport that your legs are gonna be crucial, whether it's for submissions or takedowns. Uh, so make sure that you are prioritizing your leg strength and using these variations to get better on the mat. Uh, but if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, you should be, okay? Like I said before, give the video a thumbs up. 
Uh, and also we have the Facebook group that you should join, The Iron Lions. So just type it in Facebook search bar, The Iron Lions. Uh, ask to be in there and we'll accept you. It's a great community for like-minded strength sport individuals. We do form checks, we have articles, uh, just always trying to give back to the community. Uh, so make sure you guys are involved uh, with that Facebook group. Uh, the other thing is if you guys are looking for supplements, HD Muscle, I'm a sponsored HD Muscle athlete. Those are supplements I use every single day, hands down, the best on the market. Use code ZATSTRENGTH uh, for your order. And we also have programs. So if you guys are kind of flustered or stuck and don't know how to do this stuff on your own, we have a uh, team of coaches and we also have program templates on the website zatstrength.net so check that out but until then guys stay a lean mean strength machine i'll catch you guys next time peace